Good morning. It's Monday, November 15th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Dangerous Freedom, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 10, where Paul writes, Dear friends, if we deliberately continue sinning after we have received knowledge of the truth, there is no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. There is only the terrible expectation of God's judgment and the raging fire that will consume his enemies. For anyone who refused to obey the law of Moses was put to death without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Just think how much worse the punishment will be for those who have trampled on the Son of God and have treated the blood of the covenant which made us holy as if it were common and unholy and have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit who brings God's mercy to us. For we know the one who said, I will take revenge, I will pay them back. He also said, the Lord will judge his own people. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Ambivalence, that love-hate relationship of indecision and constant companion of procrastinators like me, is alive and annoying in the mind of Paul as he holds up the most unsettling of truths for the followers of Christ. We have free will. There's something deep within each of us crying out to be free yet recognizes the consequence of that freedom requires us to walk a dangerous line between the selfishness of doing what pleases us as opposed to living obediently to another's choices, namely our Creator's will. The most dangerous place on the planet has nothing to do with war, global warming, or crossing a counter-punching ex-president. The most dangerous place on planet Earth is between your own ears. That's so, because in the recesses of our free will, we make choices that have earthly consequence in the here and now, but also eternal consequence in the heavenly realms. Free will is a dangerous freedom. The consequence of sinning, deliberately choosing our own way in place of what God requires, which is doing what is right and loving mercy and walking humbly with God, is judgment by our Creator. That consequence is seen abundantly enough in Scripture to drive us to God's mercy. Yet, we are prone, like the prophet Jonah, to hop a ride to the opposite direction. We are running, but as King David discovered, there's no place to hide. In Noah's day, the freedom to choose devolved from any semblance of godliness until the only salvageable family left on the face of the earth was Noah's. God closed the door on the ark and drowned everything else with a flood of judgment. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's Paul's final comment in today's text. And that makes my heart skip a beat, because I know it's true, and I stand as a fragile sinner before God just like anyone else. Unlike the thinking of a favorite uncle of mine who used to tease me about getting a special sin discount because I preach on Sundays, I know my will is God's biggest gift to me and my own worst enemy. My choices, my ways are entirely selfish, and my heart is as the poet Robert Robinson wrote, prone to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. And so, this dangerous freedom cradled in the unstable will of this human man, is the one thing that drives me to the forgiveness of God. This prone-to-wander heart understands grace is the only thing that pulls me back. For you today, so are you prone to wander into your free will's selfishness like me? Let God's forgiving grace pull you back. It's what called you to Him in the first place. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.